All right, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into a minute with Millie Chan. I don't know if you are that into labels or even that into Prada. I'm not a Prada girl, but Prada is trying to sell this dress for three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. They say it looks like an elephant hoof. Like I don't know what labels think about, and I don't think I don't know if they think we'll just buy anything because it's a name. But it's got to make sense for me to buy it. This is not one of them. I don't know how to feel about this. Bow Wow was on here with a group of guys i'm not sure where this is i forget but he said that he'd rather date a regular girl than a famous girl i'm gonna let you hear what he says and we'll talk about it when a person experiences some new yeah it's amazing like you never been on a yacht no like we don't cruise no baby it's a yacht like it's our <laughs> i like that can yeah. blow my mind um like one of my ex-girlfriends never been to las vegas i left all-star weekend in l.a like on Saturday, and we just took her to Vegas. Like, oh, sorry. You never been? Like, that's fucking crazy. It's not every time you go. And even after me, we don't work out when you go with your next. And you're going to have to think about me every time. That's not what I'm <laughs> Whereas, you get the industry girl, and you're like, yo, it's a spot in New York called Brooklyn Chop. Ain't there already. <laughs> yo. yo, Mr. Chop. Been there already. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about going to Tulum. Who oh, ain't been there already? I mean, would it be cool to be flewed out to Tulum? Absolutely. But if I work hard enough and save my money and go with my girls or whatever, I can go to Tulum. I feel like this is insecurity. I may be doing too much, but I feel like this is insecurity that he'd rather have a girl who he can show and boast about versus a girl who already is used to the finer things in life. I just feel like you need to work harder. That's what I think. You know, if she's already been to Mr. Childs, you need to figure that stuff out. You need to get on the internet and figure it out. That's just how I feel about that. So over there on Twitter, Elon Musk has said on 420, all legacy verified accounts will lose their blue tick. So like Cardi B, uh, Kerry Washington, like the president, like everybody's going to lose it, but they want you to pay for it. I mean, if you're worth your weight, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you have a blue check. I mean, a lot of people are buying blue chicks, and you know who's buying blue chicks. So, this is crazy to me. Let's keep it moving. So, here's a Wendy update. Uh, reportedly, according to The Sun, now take this with a grain of salt, Wendy Williams will be recording and filming her reality TV show where she returns to New Jersey, her childhood home. She's been traveling and gathering up information for the reality show. Um, I'll watch this. I'll watch it. But I just want Wendy to be better when we watch it. You know what I'm saying? Will you be watching this? Looks like Nikki and her husband finally got out of the house. Um, they were celebrating his birthday. He has um, hid his ankle bracelet, so that's good. I know she's happy. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Millie Chun. And just like you, I'm tired of Latasha, Latoxit, Latasha, whoever. But this is Candy setting the record straight about what Latasha has said on Watch What Happens Live about Mama Joyce calling her and telling her to stop singing on Instagram. I'm going to let Candy tell you. Hold on. This story. So I called my mama. <laughs> I called and I was mama. like, Mama, Mama. My mama was on the road heading back from uh, the <laughs> casino <laughs> with her sister. Uh -huh. And I was like, Mama, you called Tasha when this happened. My mama said, ever tell her to stop singing on social media i don't even know how to use social media like that how i'm gonna tell her to stop singing on social media yeah 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 no no listen so i said oh okay well specifically because i went back and looked at i said specifically did you tell her not to be singing on instagram she said i tell her not to be singing on the Instagram. On the Instagram? You know, the old, older people, they always on, say On no. the Instagram. I didn't even tell her not to be singing on no Instagram. I, I don't even have a phone number. How am I supposed to call her? So, people, I don't know what Tasha is talking about, but I know for a fact Tasha changed her number at least six months ago. Mm -hmm. I don't even have her number. So I know my mama don't have her number. She and, not going to lie on Joyce. You're right. And as far as I can remember, I don't even remember. I know Tasha sang on Instagram maybe one or two times like while we were filming. Other than that, Tasha wasn't even really on Instagram like that. So when did my mama tell her to stop singing on Instagram? Amen. This is to Latasha, right? 
Um, at this point, ma'am, I think you should just sit down and go through all of our social medias, right? And I think you should really think about the apology that you owe to not only your sister, not only your group, but what you owe to all of us in the world. Because you have lied to us like you stole our money and we are after you. Because this makes no sense. I believe Candy. I believe Tamika. Because when you and rocky were sitting up in that confessional y'all were literally telling on yourselves if you give the talent then of course you owe some you're owed something that's a kickback y'all have been doing this girl you got to stop this it's your girl millie chun y'all let's talk about it Bye. hey y'all it's your girl millie chun and here's another minute with millie chun let's go so beyonce is coming under fire because People are saying that she didn't support Chloe with her new album coming out and the album sales were low. Her solo project in pieces sold 10,000 copies in the first week and it ranked at 119 on Billboard, right? And they're saying that the collaboration she did with her younger sister, Hallie, um, it sold 24,000 copies and they debuted at 116 and that album was called Ungodly Hour. Now, can we really blame Beyonce? And we do know she's getting ready for Renaissance, right? But Chloe is really not pressed about it. She says she don't care what nobody has to say, forget what people said. And she was clearly in concert with a lot of people there to see her. So, um, I mean, I know the album sales make a difference if you want a particular status. But she has a fan base. So, congratulations, Chloe. Let's keep going. How are we feeling about this? Love and Hip Hop Atlanta will undergo a reboot and move to MTV. Are we still watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? And why are we having a reboot? Because the thing is, I know Mona Scott was fired from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And that's why we have all the reunions from Love and Hip Hop, right? So now I guess we're going to get a regular show since they're going to MTV. Are y'all going to be watching that? Because I, I don't know. Child, Chris Jenner that came out here and said she got that WAP, right? And Corey Gamble is the receiver. She said it is what it is. I got all these kids. How you think I got all these kids? I think it was a bit much, but okay, Chris. So Marcus Houston is still coming under fire because he married his wife, who he met when she was 17 at the time, and he waited till she was of age to marry her. And he said, we have a love that people don't understand. And he said, he don't care. Hold on. I, you know, I got to ask, I mean, does it upset you that the internet seems to have a problem about the age that your wife was when you married her? I mean, everyone's talking about absolutely it. Absolutely not. I absolutely mean, how come? Not. Why is it an issue? I mean, you know, you got to think about it. Everybody has their own opinion. Opinions are like noses. Everybody has one. I'm not a kind of person that don't really care what people think about me. So say what you want. I'm happily married. And I love my wife. We have a beautiful daughter. And that's just, that's how we live it. How are y'all feeling about that? Because he, I mean, they're married. She is of age. Um, his wife is 22. He says she keeps him young. So I'm going to watch this at some point and we'll talk about it. Let's keep going. So the abrupt divorce that Tia and Corey had filed for, uh, people were speculating that he may have had another woman. He said, I don't got no girlfriend, I got my kids. Like, I could see how people can make that speculation, but it is what it is. Good luck, Tia. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Millie Chun, and the wait is over. You have voted, you have spoken, and I have a winner. Hold on. So it's cover number two. Thank you for participating. This had a lot of votes. And this is actually my favorite also. And I do have a few changes. I'm about to email the editor now. The only thing that I'm really going to change for real, for real, is the color of this rose. I like the rose because this actually should have been the first book. But it has so much on here, but no thorns. So the color of this rose would be the color of the petals. And it will be cohesive with the first rose on the first book. I didn't really realize how much goes into it and I just really appreciate y'all for putting your part in and you did it so and I thank you for it thank you for your support so this should be out this summer and I'll talk to y'all later a rose with no thorn out soon Bye.